Brand Split from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about exercise called the Pin Press First Bands. This is a great upper body strength and power exercise you can use to improve your bench press or any kind of potential throwing activities that you do if you're an athlete. Now, this is a build on the traditional pin press. So the goal of the pin press is to get a concentric only exercise, which means all we're gonna do is have to push and move at one time. There's not really any emphasis on the lowering piece of the exercise. It's really beneficial as that can decrease delayed onset muscle soreness or just being sore from after when you train. But by adding the bands, it's gonna be harder to break the bar off the pins. So this is really gonna work on that rate of force development and creating, creating a lot of power. Now, if you're a power lifter or a strength athlete, this is a great max effort exercise to work on improving your strength as you can target specific areas, not only of your bench press, um, but you can also make sure that you're staying relatively healthy and not having that huge lowering portion as well um, to blast through some of those sticking points and those PRs that you're trying to break. So you need to have your band set up with a rack, <clears throat> ideally that's got some kind of band peg attachments and have the bands doubled over the bar just like you would do if you're doing dynamic effort training with conjugate work. So I've got plenty of information on that about my YouTube website about how a set of bands for the bench press just follow that you'll be great now where you're gonna put the bar is gonna be dependent upon you um, for today's example I literally just found a pin position that just worked well for the demo exercise so I can get in and out of it easily I would personally probably have this down two more holes for myself if I was focusing on my own bench press now Usually you want to try to get this bar relatively close to your chest. You don't want it too far away unless you've got a huge issue with your lockout. But usually a couple inches off the chest is a good place to start and then you can adjust your pin height as needed. Just make sure that you've got some quality pin systems as well. You can kind of let the bars hit the rack and if at all possible, use a junkier bar versus a really good bar because when you drop it on here, especially with hundreds of pounds, you don't want to risk beating up a really good quality barbell. So what we're going to do is going to get underneath here, get our regular bench press position here. So get your feet set, get your hands set, usually a little bit wider than shoulder width, knuckles towards the ceiling, set your back. Then what you're going to do is you're going to push as fast as you can off the pins and then back down, push, back down, push, back down, okay? So, usually when it comes to implementing an exercise like this, again, I personally like it for max effort work more so than anything else, um, just because we can get up to a good, safe single and you don't have to worry about spots or anything like that either. Um, but you're focusing on concentric only <clears throat> and then let's let the bar come back down to the rack. It's pretty, obvious of whether you objectively move it or not. We're like, if you're doing a normal bench press variation, could be subjective of whether your pause was long enough, whether your butt came off the ground, your feet are moving, you know, whether it's a good clean rep and would pass in a meet or whether the spotter touched the bar, there's a lot of variables that can change that. This is pretty cut and dry whether you got it or not. But it also, again, forces you have to continue to press and creating that force off the pin is definitely the hardest part. If you really wanted to use this for a dynamic effort day, I'm sure you could. I personally never have programmed it that way, but I could see some justification of why you might do that, um, where you would just push it explosively as you can off the pins at a certain area that you need it, using probably around 50% or so of your current one rep max, plus adding the bands. And then you can perform your dynamic effort work doing triples or fives if you really want to give that a shot. For athletes, I think this is also a great way to improve their strength and power. So if you're trying to help, say, a lineman work on how fast they push off of somebody, you could certainly rig this up as well and have them do that same thing. Press a couple doubles or triples and then give them a little bit of rest and repeat that motion because that's essentially what they're doing in a game. So you got a lot of options on how you can implement an exercise like this in your training program based on your needs. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.